So what's up guys, how do you do? Welcome to Asian Program Wizards TV. In this class we are continuing with the R practical examples for Java effects. So this Java tutorial we can see right here we we've populated our our, our uh, Java effects list view of course with a hash table from a hash table the hash table is the data source so you can also see we're able to handle the clicked items and then show them in a dialog so this java effects tutorial welcome we we'll get started okay so welcome back in of course let's proceed right here now the first thing is that we're going to specify the package which is going to host our class you can see this is our main java file we'll add some imports uh from java effects as well as to of course a really and hash table from the java.util now we come right here this is our class right here as you can see public class main it's a public class we're going to make it extend application okay this application class belongs to the java effects data application package so we make it now it wants us to override to actually implement the start method however we'll do that one later on for now let's come instantiate our, our list view okay javafx.scene.control.list view object and have it as an instance field for this particular main class now we come right here we're going to create a helper method this method it will be responsible for first of course populating our hash table then setting the values in our hash table of course into our list view now we come right here hash table you can see uh, we have two generic parameters, uh, an integer as well as a string. So hash table nebula equal to new hash table. Then we come right here, we populate our hash table with our data. So we are populating it with nebulas. You can see we have the key for the nebula as well as the value. Now we have that one from ghosted to helix to rosette to snake, binad 68. Okay, pelican, those are all our nebulas. Now once we've that done that one we come right here we're now going to loop through the values of our nebula so for string nebula nebula dot values then we'll come right here mless view dot get items dot add then nebula okay that's what we do right here get items will give us a java dot util dot list we call it add method we add those items to our mlist view okay so we're only interested in the values inside our hash table now once you've done that one that's it for our populate now we come and then create another method called handle item clicks this method will handle the item clicks the mouse clicks for our list view so m list view the set on mouse clicked then we'll come right here first string selected item equal to m list view dot get selection module dot get selected item dot to string we get the selected item from our list view then cast it to a string then we instantiate a dialog dialog d equal to new alert okay then alert dot alert type dot information then selected item d dot show to show our dialog okay so that's it for our handle item clicks then we come right here we're going to construct our java effects ui so public void start okay we override this method so it's taking in a stage object and then it's throwing in an exception so scene scene equal to new scene then new group we pass a group instance inside our scene constructor set the set title we set the title for the stage okay that is for our window then set the set width width and height also for the window okay now label right here title label equal to new label then hash table of nebulas that's of course our label then of course title label dot set font new font then lucida okay then size 20 then we call we invoke the populate data and then the handle item clicks now we come right here we instantiate our final vbox vbox will arrange our label on top of our list view so in vertically so vbox dot set spacing 5 okay set padding then we come right here the padding top right bottom and left integers we pass them inside our insets then vbox.getchildren.addall title label and mlist view 
we add them as the children of our v box then set alignment pose the center then group right here scene dot get root then we cast it to a group then group the children dot add v box okay then group the set layout x then 100 then stage the set scene we set the scene of course in our stage then stage to show to show our stage or to show our window lastly we can create our main method so main method is the method that will get invoked when we run our application okay it gets invoked first is the entry point to application so we come right here application dot launch and we launch our application javafx application so that's it guys that's all we need to do let's now proceed and run our project all right so we run the project here is what we're getting you can see if we click we are getting whatever we clicked okay so this is it right here this is our project the project is running perfectly you can see we're able to get this selected item so that's it guys we've worked with the hash table we've worked with the javafx list view hope you've enjoyed the show like it share it and make sure you subscribe to our youtube channel programming users tv otherwise take care i'll catch you in the next class